Now, of course, while you're interpreting the crown jar, you're you're free to ask me any questions you want. I just want to make you aware that there are other kinds of fruit jars or fruit sealers out there. And here's some, some representative examples. Now, going from the left, we have the ubiquitous beaver jar, uh, about as Canadian as you can ever get. Now, if you want to put you want to interpret this a little bit and put it in your crown jar interpretation, I'm okay with that. Now, moving over to the right, we have a perfect seal jar. It has a unique aqua color, which is typical of stuff made here in Alberta at an old glass factory that used to be just outside of Medicine Hat in a place called Red Cliff. Dominion Glass ran that. And then next to them are two jars that were used for distribution of commercial honey. Again, it's all about preserving things, and this would have been done at a time before refrigeration was universal. In fact, most people even didn't have electricity into their homes until the 1920s, 30s, 40s, and 50s, with the rural areas being behind that game, as opposed to the urban areas, which electrified first. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. Bye.